thank you everyone to uh, join this talk and uh, very happy to deliver this talk today. And uh, uh, before this talk, uh, let me uh, do a self-introduction of myself. I'm Richard from uh, eBay. I'm a software engineer. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm based in, uh, in Shanghai. And uh, this is my second time in Beijing. So Beijing has left uh, a very good impression on me. And uh, our platform uh, is a notification platform. Uh, this product is uh, eBay's uh, to deliver the notification to the third party end user. So the user and so the third party end user will get a, uh, get a knowledge of what, what is going on on eBay site. For example, one item is listed in the eBay site, so they will get the notification platform uh, immediately. Uh, during uh, the building of this platform, we uh, leverage a lot of big data technology to imp in empower this platform. So this talk is uh, one of the work uh, we did uh, in last couple of months. Uh, it is uh, how to read uh, Kudu data in a streaming style in Apache Flink. Okay, uh, this is the agenda. So the first we will uh, recap what is Kudu and the Flink. Uh, I believe uh, most of the people are very familiar with the Flink, so I will not uh, spend much time on that. But uh, for Kudu, we will uh, introduce uh, what is Kudu and uh, what uh, uh, does Kudu, um, what's the aim of the Kudu to resolve, what kind of problem uh, Kudu can resolve. And uh, the second time is um, uh, the goal and uh, the initiative, what, why we need to um, uh, read the Kudu data in a stream style in Flink. Uh, we will introduce the, some uh, background of our, our system and uh, to see how and uh, uh, how we read the uh, Kudu data in a stream style. And uh, the, the next part is the solution. We will introduce the methodology, how we achieve this. And uh, next we will uh, do a case study to see uh, how we leverage the our methodology to read the data in the Kudu in a streaming style. And uh, we also open sourced uh, our work uh, in our eBay organization. Uh, if you are interested, you, you can take a look at it. Okay, um, yeah, Kudu actually is a distributed uh, data storage engine. Um, it, it was always uh, compared with the click house to do, uh, to compare the performance of the online OLAP uh, fast analysis on the fast and the changing data easily. And uh, it's, it's just a story engine. It, it didn't have the uh, secure engine. So this is the most difference between the click house. And uh, if you, you guys, uh, if for, the peop, for the folks from the uh, ration, rational database background, uh, the data in the clues, the data model is uh, table based. So it will be very easy for you guys to get familiar with how to manipulate the data. And the second is um, Kudu supports the low latency uh, random access. Uh, this is very similar like uh, the HBase, uh, which has uh, uh, also enabled it, empower this. And uh, the third one is uh, it's a columnar storage. So, which means it can support the very fast analytics, uh, like uh, what you do on the HDFS or HDFS with Pakui. So, yeah, it's also uh, Kudu is also uh, Hadoop uh, integrated uh, with Hadoop uh, into this ecosystem. Yeah, uh, yeah, this part is about a Flink. Uh, everyone knows it. It's a very, very world-class uh, streaming engine uh, with stateful support. So uh, I assume everyone is familiar with it. I will not spend much time on it. Yeah, um, this part we will talk, uh, talk about uh, why we need to uh, read the Kudu data in a streaming style with the uh, Flink, Flink job. Uh, the background is we have a lot of stream pipeline uh, implemented with Flink, and uh, we have uh, we listen to the upstream events from the Kafka, and the uh, 
manipulate the data, process the events, and the write the data to a storage. And uh, the, the downstream uh, Flink process will read the data from the, that storage. So what kind of storage is suitable for that? We, are, we have done a lot of research on it. And uh, we, one, of the, one of the candidates is uh, Apache Kudu. It, it was uh, supported internally in our firm. So we take Kudu for, for some POC and uh, research the Kudu how to achieve this. When Kudu is sitting in between, in the middle of the two uh, Flink pipeline, we found uh, it, so the total process cannot be streamed. Because uh, what we want to do is we want to listen to the upstream events, and these kind of events will trigger the following steps uh, uh, automatically. But uh, when we fit the Kudu into this process, we found that it was very hard to achieve this. It will be a batch process, a uh, uh, batch system. We will uh, leverage the our external batch scheduling system to periodically trigger this uh, reading behavior to, uh, of the Kudu data. So this is an initiative is uh, why we need to uh, read the data in uh, streaming, uh, streaming style. So the first we will uh, use the Kudu as a data source, as I mentioned just now. And uh, the other is when we read the data in a stream style, the, uh, the order is become challenging. Uh, there are first, uh, two kinds of orders. One is the natural order. Which, um, sounds like uh, one typical uh, process, uh, one typical example is if Imagine you have a queue, first in and the first out of queue. So you push the uh, events or the items in the queue. Uh, the order of the data arrival is the order of the data will be retrieved. This is the natural order we summarized. And then the second one is the customer order. You will uh, have some specific logic to define how we read the data, how, what's the order of the data should be uh, get out, not, not just the data arrival order. But, uh, one typical example is also the priority queue. You will, take care, uh, you will be, uh, take care of the priority of the item. Uh, although, the f let's, let's say if we have two items, the first item with low, lower priority and the second item with uh, higher priority, but the lower priority, the first item uh, will come first but uh, the order uh, to get this uh, the item will be the, the second with the higher priority first. So this is a customer order. So what do we what what do we need to read the Kudu in a stream style? So we have to solve this kind of uh, order issues first. Okay, uh, let's see how we. Uh, use a do as the source of the data stream. Um, this is the first uh, architecture of our stream pipeline. We have Kudu table sitting here, and uh, we have link job uh, read here. But uh, we will leverage the external uh, scheduling system to periodically trigger the reading. So the home flow, as I mentioned before, it become the uh, batch system. So uh, can we do it better? Uh, can we just uh, simplify our architecture? Uh, can we do this reading in a streaming style? So what we want to do is we will erase this uh, batch external batch uh, dependency. Uh, let's see, we want to bring can continuously reading the data from the Kudu table uh, without external dependency on the battery scheduling system. So one of the things we are doing is we def uh, implement a source connector. The source connector will take care of the reading, the Kudu table, and uh, the Flink system will trigger the, this reading. And it will, uh, to be more specific, uh, we implement this source, uh, source function and uh, read the data in the wrong method with the uh, infinite loop to read the data from the Kudu. 
So this is the first part we we are doing to simplify our architecture uh, without the external scheduling system dependency, but uh, leverage the Flink scheduling to read the data in a continuous way. So the second problem is the natural uh, the the order of the reading. So one typical example for the natural order is the uh, in incremental primary key and uh, the other something like uh, the data creating time. So this is kind of uh, fields will denote that the data arrival order for, uh, for the data within the Kudu. So we can uh, see in this table, we have three rows with incremented uh, primary key, uh, 10,001, 10,002, 10,003. So the first one uh, comes first, and then the second one, and then the third one. So the, the uh, so th when we get out this, uh, when we read the data, the sequence will follow the uh, the arrival order. So the first one, ten thousand one, will come first, and then the second one, and then the third one. So this is the definition of the natural order, and uh, this is the case how we handle it. And uh, the next one is the customized order, as I, I mentioned just now. Uh, one example is the priority key, Q. Uh, we, have we also take this example, we have three rows for this case. Uh, one, of the one of the column is the queue time. The queue time means uh, when this item should be queued from this queue. So the table is, is, is simulated as a queue, as a priority queue, so that the queue time is a primar, uh, the priority. So the highest priority is uh, with the uh, lowest uh, queue time. So uh, the data will not uh, be inserted or uh, uh, follow the queue time. Uh, but uh, when we read the we, when we read the data, we will follow the sequence of the decode time. So this is an uh, example of the customer order. Okay. Then for the about two C two issues, we need to uh, uh, we need to resolve this kind of issues. So our solution is uh, as I mentioned before, we implement a uh, customized uh, Spring source connector for the Kudu and the encapsulator the logic within, within the ROM method. We support uh, the Kudu as a data stream, so which means we will not uh, periodically uh, reading the data uh, from the Kudu table. And uh, we have uh, two mode, reading modes, one is uh, uh, to resolve the reading order issues. One is a read and a sweep, which means we read the data and the delete the data. So which means uh, the, 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 the data has been read in the uh, last round, will not be read again in the next round. The second one is the read with offset. So the, uh, we define the order, uh, every row every rows in Kudu table has the order. So we first need to define the order so uh, we will follow the order to read the data and the, it will uh, uh, record the offset uh, we, we read in the last round. This kind of uh, offset will uh, store as a state in the Flink, uh, as a Flink is a state engine for the stream processing. And also the last one is, uh, we, uh, because uh, our stack is Java, so uh, for Flink implementation or Kudu connection, you can also uh, leverage the Java library to do that. So we uh, provide an annotation based configuration, which means you will not configure some JSON file, YAML file, or some kind of stuff, but it, uh, rather than you just uh, use the annotation based configuration, uh, we will see the example you just uh, uh, we define some customized annotation to denote uh, which column or which field uh, can be used as a streaming key or stream details to achieve this. So all the configuration are code based. 
So uh, yeah, let's first see you see the read and sweep pattern. So this read pattern uh, supports the uh, you can you can def uh, read the data and uh, sweep the sweep the data afterwards. So take this example for this case. Uh, we will first read the first column uh, with ID. With uh, yeah, uh, we will uh, first uh, define the criteria to read the data. So the queue time is a criteria. We let's say we will uh, find all the decu uh, all all the, all the items due with the decu time due. Uh, so which means we have a timeline on the on the right. So the first one uh, with the one point uh, ten ten thousand and two will be found because uh, the degree time it has the lowest degree time. When I and uh, when I read this data, we will sweep it, and the next uh, when the time goes to the uh, half past nine. So the ID with so the rows with ID ten thousand and three will be picked, and we we sweep it. And uh, when the time goes to the uh, ten p.m. at uh, ten a.m., and the reader will read the last one ten thousand one. So you can see the order is not the uh, arrival order, but uh, you cast uh, you uh, but. But uh, customize the defined order to decode this data. Uh, the second one is the uh, read pattern is uh, uh, read with offset. Um, uh, the idea is uh, very simple. So we read the data, but we don't delete it. But we will rather than instead we will uh, remember its offset. This offset we are stored in the uh, stream uh, uh, in the uh, uh, Flink state uh, uh, state store. So let's say uh, we define this all. We use the ID column to define uh, the offset. We will first read the ten ten thousand and one. So we got the offset uh, is ten thousand one, which means. We will not uh, read the data uh, with the uh, ID less than this value. So the second step is we will read the uh, items with the uh, ID larger than the 10,001. So we go to the 10,002. And also we will keep this offset. So the off offset will uh, be stored uh, during each checkpoint phase. And then the last, we will uh, go to the offset with 10,003. So in, in this read pattern, we have not, uh, we, we, we will don't have the um, uh, data deletion, rather, but uh, instead we will store the offset, just like you consume a Kafka queue. Uh, you will uh, remember the offset, and in the next round, you will uh, read the data uh, with the latest offset. Um, okay, so the third one is the uh, configuration. We provided the annotation based configuration. Uh, we there are some configuration. Uh, we define our Java Pojo class. This Pojo class represented the uh, Kudu table. Uh, it has several uh, three columns. Uh, these columns are mapped to the Java fields. Uh, we have defined two, uh, two annotations. One is the column detail. Column detail will uh, explain the uh, type of the data and the, 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 the column name of the data and these kind of stuff. And uh, the second one is the streaming key. Streaming key is to denote the, uh, how we it's related with the reader with offset pa rele uh, reading pattern. So for in this example, we will take the created time as the uh, streaming key. So uh, the source connector will look, look at this uh, look at this field to understand that um, 
the column with the created time as the off the values of this column will used as the offset. So it will uh, understand that how we uh, read the table could do table data with this offset. And uh, next we uh, will do a case study. So the, this is a real uh, world case, use case uh, in our system. What we need to achieve is, uh, since our platform is a distributed and a larger scale uh, system, uh, there are a lot of notification delivery, but uh, the notification delivery may fail. So we need to some uh, retry mechanism existing in our system. So what we need to do is we um, we don't want to um, periodically uh, retrieving the um, retry uh, field uh, field notifications to do the retry. Uh, instead, we want to uh, make this process uh, event driven. So which means we will uh, listen to the uh, database CDC. Uh, the CDC is a uh, even internal uh, data store um, generated uh, events. So the Flink job will understand will process these CDC events and uh, write the and uh, select the events which should be retried in a retry table. The retry table here is uh, stored in the Kudu uh, table. So could do is, and we also have an, uh, the second pipeline. The second pipeline is uh, also a flink job. Um, it will, uh, the flink job will uh, leverage the source connector we just uh, implemented to read the could table continuously uh, into, the, into, the, into the memory and the pros and the analyze uh, to understand which events should be uh, do the retry and uh, push these events to the Kafka. So in this case, um, we this is a read uh, the, the, the data is with a custom order uh, because uh, once the items are filled, it will directly inject uh, in, uh, inserted uh, with a could do with a next retry time. So the next retry time is the uh, streaming key to how to uh, to uh, to select the data uh, out of the uh, could do table to trigger the processing and the trigger the uh, retry delivery. So in this case, we uh, follow the read with offset pattern and. Uh, use the next retry time as our streaming key and uh, store this value in the uh, flink state and uh, show to stream to streamline all this all this uh, pipeline. Uh, the last one is uh, 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 open source project. Uh, this is a uh, uh, op we always source this our work in one of the uh, eBay op organization as a uh, standard uh, project. Uh, if anyone is interested, you can uh, take a look at. It. Okay, uh, that's all.